Good afternoon. You know, a month ago, I'd have been sitting outside here in a pile of snow. And now I've got grass growing all over the place. It's actually getting to the point where I'm going to need to do the first cut of the year soon. A month is a long time. And quite frankly, that's how long we've been waiting for the Canadian government to make good on its promises to bring Ukrainian refugees fleeing Russia's invasion to Canada. Now, to date, the federal government, I don't think, has brought any uh, into Canada. There have been no flights. Uh, things are still in the planning stage. Well, that's starting to frustrate a lot of Canadians. And as a matter of fact, reporters caught up to Canada's transport minister just the other day and asked them the very question is, what's taking so long? Check this clip out. Hi, Minister. Uh, Hi. It, it's been a month since the Prime Minister promised charter flights to bring Ukrainians to Canada. What's the holdup? Um, look, it is an, an important matter for us and we've committed to doing everything we can to help uh, your Ukrainians who are looking for shelter in Canada to come to Canada. Um, as I explained last week, is that there are logistical issues that need to be sorted out. Not every uh, individual who applied is where they are where they applied at the time so now we're coordinating where everyone is and who wants to come and so so we can facilitate the departure points and landing points so that work is on, ongoing so there we have canada's transport minister the minister responsible for transportation telling us he's having logistical problems well that's kind of what transportation is it's logistics uh, so i don't know why he's having a problem doing his job, basically. In the meantime, Newfoundland has figured it out. 166 refugees landed in Newfoundland yesterday. Here's a report from Legacy Media showing these refugees coming into Canada into because of what Newfoundland has done. And what they've done, apparently our federal government can't figure out. Check out this clip. Far from the war in Ukraine. A warm welcome to a new land and help to make it a home. So here we can see that the logistics problems of getting refugees from Ukraine or wherever they are, they're mostly a lot in Poland right now, a few other places, but they are Ukrainian refugees. So to get them from the Ukraine to Canada as refugees shouldn't be that hard. Newfoundland has proved that it's possible. They did it, but our federal transportation minister can't seem to pull it off. Now, if you want to hear a little bit more about the title of this video and how Trudeau is just slapping these people in the faces, laughing at them, Guess where he was yesterday? In Ukraine with the Deputy Prime Minister, Christia Freeland, and our Minister of Foreign Affairs, uh, Melanie Jolie. And here they are uh, doing a, a photo op at the Ukrainian embassy, the Canadian embassy in Ukraine, opening it back up and f flying the flag there, saying, we're, yeah, we're back, we're open, we're here for you. I swear I was waiting for him to say that he has their backs, but I didn't quite catch that part. Check out this clip. You'll see what I mean. So when did this flag come down? Thank you. Well, this flag came down on February 13th, uh, and uh, we're really glad to be raising it again above 
the Canadian Embassy. Uh, our ambassador, you will be uh, back here and the embassy reopened. I think it's a testament to how um, the Ukrainian people have been so strong and resilient that they've been able to uh, protect their city uh, and continue to fight for their language, their culture, their identity and their country. Uh, and uh, having the Canadian flag fly over the streets of Kyiv once again is yet another testament to the incredible strength and solidarity of uh, Canadians and Ukrainians and how we continue to be with them. So here we see an entire delegation of Canadian politicians in Ukraine and we can't seem to get flights organized to get the refugees out. However, Justin Trudeau, Christian Freeland and Melanie Jolie seem to be able to get a plane in and out of the region without any problems. A lot of people want to ask this question. Why didn't he bring back a few refugees while he was there? The plane was there. Nah, he won't do that. He won't rub elbows uh, for that long with, with the common people, I don't think. But it just goes to show you, here's Justin Trudeau laughing in the faces of those he's been publicly declaring that he's going to help and he's going to get here and they're welcome as refugees, but him and his government can't get it done. In the meantime, they can get their plane in and out of the region without too much problems. You decide. Did Trudeau just slap Ukrainian refugees in the face? Love to hear your comments. Put them right down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell icon so that you get notifications when I upload more videos. Remember, an informed Canadian is a prepared Canadian.